So I avoided the music production death spiral yesterday, which you may well have experienced yourself, particularly if you're on a deadline like I am. So I have 29 days left to complete my sixth album. And on balance, it went well yesterday because I avoided the death spiral. But in terms of the music itself, it felt like it went very badly. So this is how the death spiral works. Something in your music doesn't go right. You have an expectation or an idea of what it is you want to do in a piece of music, and it doesn't work out the way that you expected it. Now, something that's really important to understand is the difference between expectations and what is good. Very often, I've noticed this, this in, a, in myself and in a lot of people who I've coached over the years, they mistake something not reaching what they expected. So they have an idea in their head. And if it isn't, if it doesn't come out like what they have in their head, they process that as being bad, as being a bad idea or it's not working. That might be the case, but what is often also the case is that it's not that it's low quality or it's a bad idea. It's simply, it's not reaching your expectations. This is a very, very uh, common mistake. So yesterday I had an idea for various different pieces of music that I'm working on, and I'm cycling through all of the 10 tracks on my album, and I cycled through three yesterday. And in every single one of those sessions, I had an idea of what I wanted to achieve, what I wanted it to sound like, what I wanted to happen, and none of them worked. So in a sense, it feels like I had a bad day. But because of the coaching that I've done and the experience that I've had over the years, I managed to avoid the death spiral. But let me just explain the death spiral to you. So something doesn't go well. Right? Or, which is probably more likely, it doesn't actually, you don't get what you expect. Okay. Again, not the same thing. And so you have this experience, and then that leads you to stress out about the experience. Yeah. And then because you're stressing out about the experience, you're now, you don't feel like doing it. So this means that you stress out about not wanting to do it, which then means that you're stressing out about that feeling too. And this is the point of the death spiral. This is what I mean by a death spiral. You're no longer, by this point here, stressing out about the problem up here you're stressing out about the feeling that you have, about the feeling you have, about the feeling that you have. And this can perpetuate itself for days, weeks, months. I mean, it can even lead to giving up. So how do you avoid this death spiral? Well, it's very simple, really. When you have a negative experience in the studio when you're making music, You simply leave it alone. You just recognize that this is part of the process. Instead of focusing on the bad experience, right? Instead of doing that, you focus on how many sessions you've done. Okay? So I did three sessions. So this means I'm actually... Actually, I did three sessions yesterday in a very busy day. This means I'm actually feeling pretty good about myself. What's more, you remember that this expectation that something didn't work might not be right. And by the way, I have to apologize for my drawing. I am, it's one of my goals to actually improve my visual thinking. And I'm using these videos to do that. So you'll, you'll you know, just laugh at my ridiculous uh, drawing uh, for now. So 
coming back to this, instead of believing believing that it is bad simply because what happened didn't reach what you expected to happen, you have this experience as an open question. It might be bad, it might be good. In other words, you don't focus on quality. Yes, even when you're finishing things, this isn't just about starting things, even when you're finishing things, you don't assume that because it hasn't, whatever you did didn't achieve, even if, like for me yesterday, it happened three times in a row. And it wasn't a very pleasant experience, I can, I can promise you that. But because I knew about the death spiral, I was very just neutral. I mean, I had the feelings, but I was being neutral about the experience and simply taking steps forward and leaving it as an open question as to whether it was actually bad, what I was doing was bad. I simply kept on going. I didn't delete it all. I didn't start again. I didn't go, go backwards. I simply left what I had done. I exported each of the tracks and I moved on to the next one. And today I'm focused on the fact that I did three sessions, right? Because even when I'm, even when it feels like I'm going backwards, even if I am right and, the, and what I did yesterday wasn't good, I have got through a few no's. What do I mean by getting through a few no's? Well, I have tried some things that didn't work. So that means I'm actually making progress. Yeah, I'm not so focused on just the result as quickly as possible. I'm simply, I'm getting through the things that don't work to find the things that do. This is much more of an experimental mindset. And what ends up happening when you release your belief in your opinion in any given moment. What happens when you focus on the fact that you are doing it? What happens when you leave it as an open question as to whether what you did was good or not? It means that no matter how well or badly it goes, you can still make progress and you avoid the music production death spiral. So that's 29 days to go. I'm going to see how today goes. So I'm starting to do these videos first thing in the morning and reviewing the previous day. I'll be honest with you, even though I avoided the death spiral, I didn't feel in a particularly happy state at the end of yesterday. So as, as I said, I did feel the feeling. So I thought, I know what, I will always record these videos reviewing the previous day, uh, first thing in the morning, reviewing the previous day's progress. So that's me for today. And remember, always avoid the music production death spiral by simply focus on the, focusing on the steps you're taking and not how well or badly you think the music is going.